We got a nib. He ran off some line. Wow, he went ran a long ways down river. Oh, there's some actually some weight there. River Rats, I'm many, many miles from the nearest boat ramp, and I drove down here with the intentions of finding the absolute biggest fish I possibly can because we have a tournament in a few days, and I really don't want to suck. So let's go. So my tournament strategy essentially is to get away from everyone. There's a little bit more to it than that, um, but that's, that's basically the gist of it. So I'm a long, long ways from where we're going to be launching for the tournament. Seth isn't here. He had to work, so I had to come down here and find all the fish all on my own. Dang, what a problem. Caught some nice fish. The water temps, though, tell me the flatheads might be starting. If I can get some live bait, we might be able to catch them. We might be able to catch them on cut bait, too, and we have cut bait. But I'd feel better if I could mix some live baits into the mix. Plus, we got a front coming through tonight. Uh, it's supposed to rain and whatnot. There's a chance it might get them rocking and rolling. So let's go try to find some bait. Okay. This don't even look like a half bad place to catfish at times. Got the cheater scope. I should put the trolling motor down. I don't want to run into the bank anyway. I see pretty much nothing. We're gonna go check this pocket. I think the creek mouth's gonna be better, but we'll let her simmer down and check this pocket real quick over here. There's some stuff, real shallow. I should also probably get the net ready. Wind makes things difficult. It's funny, it doesn't even take that much wind to make things difficult. Or maybe it's just because I'm really good at making things difficult. Oh wow, I don't know what you are, but I should probably try to catch you. Actually, you're probably Asian carp, now that I think about it. That would make the most sense. Or gar. Yep, you are all gar. That's what a net full of gar looks like. So I'm going to... Oh, there's a channel cat in there too. Oh, we're about to run into stuff. Ooh, close call. Mm. <laughs> okay, that turned into a mess real quick. Pretty much the things, you, everything you'd never want to get into a cast net, I just got into a cast net in one throw. At least the gar came out easy. The channel cats almost never come out easy. Okay, two out of three, two out of three spines out. So close, got him. <laughs> if you were legal to use for bait here, I'd probably use you for bait here. See ya. Get the trolling motor out of the mud. Maybe. Oh wow, it's buried. Do we hung on anything? Holy cow, we made it out unscathed for the most part. Did I throw back in the pocket again. Throw back in the pocket because I like the abuse. Yep, those are all gar for sure. Well, you never know for sure. Oh, it got caught on my chair. Okay, we are going to turn around. I don't know if that move was worth it, but we did it. Yeah, wind complicates things. I really want to get this done before it's too late for my clothes to dry off. Hmm. <laughs> 
Where's the bait? Anything? Nothing. Looks like it's gar or nothing. Hmm. All right, so I guess live baits off the menu. But there's a few, oh, there's a few spots up river I want to run up and check out. So I'm gonna do that for an hour or less, and then then we're gonna go back to camp, toss baits out for the evening. Storm coming through tonight. Well, storm might be excessive. It's supposed to rain, so hopefully that gets the fish moving. Well, some time has passed. No fish have been caught. Um, I head back to camp, cook some dinner, and drop some baits down over there. And see what cruises that sandbar tonight. See you there. Well, we made it to camp. Um, I'm gonna get baits out and build a campfire and try to stay warm. This wind's a little chilly. Hopefully catch a fish, that'd be ideal. Anytime you get fronts move through on this river, fish don't seem to respond very well though. Be nice to have an exception. We'll see. I think I'm gonna move the fire over here. Wind change direction, don't really want smoke blowing into my tent. This will be the last of the pile. Do I piece this apart? I should. Cut it there, cut it there. Got a little saw, it'll take a little elbow grease, but we can get it. Should get me a little electric chainsaw, but you know, there's a lot of things I probably should get. And it hasn't made it to the top of the list yet, so we don't have one. This thing does pretty decent. At least I'm smart enough to be on the upwind side of this so I don't have sawdust blowing in my face. How hot's this blade? Not too hot. Getting there. Can I break it yet? <laughs> Got there. I think. Yep. Good piece of firewood right there. Okay, I just realized the other one's bigger. We might burn that one in half. Next step, get the fire started. Got the old Bigfoot bushcraft fire starters. They're pretty good at starting fires. Maybe that's why they're named as such. But anyway, that's how I'm going to cook my dinner. So being able to start a fire is kind of important if I want to cook dinner on a fire. Just full of genius stuff today. <laughs> Got my tinder. All I'm going to do Lay that log there, light those on fire, and lay some small sticks across the top. Oh, apparently wind is their nemesis. You know, light, lighter. Apparently wind is this lighter's nemesis. Now we're cooking with peanut oil. Okay.
should be enough to get her going. If there was no wind, it'd be no problem. There's just enough wind to be a moderate problem. We'll see if it's a problem. Looks like things are catching on fire. All right, I'm gonna let that burn for a little bit. Try stack some bigger stuff on top. And then uh, I'm gonna figure out how to anchor my wind or uh, rain cover in this wind because it is supposed to rain. Well, the fire is firing. The tent is anchored. At least good enough for me. We'll see how it it works out, but I think it'll be okay. If the wind blows it away with that cooler attached, we got big, big problems. So hopefully that's not a concern. I think we're at that point where you can call it a cooking fire. Yeah, that'll work out good. All right, we got some eggs, we got some cheese. Need a skillet, spatula, reasonably clean. Definitely need a fork. That should work. We got half a dozen eggs. Half a dozen eggs and a big appetite. Hmm, that's gonna be really hot. I should probably let that simmer down a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I think that'll actually work. I need to get one of them little rubber mabobs for the handle on the cast iron. She's about to get hot. She's already pretty hot. This might be a little impatient of me, but we're going for it. Hunger creates a lot of impatience. Yeah, she's sizzling. Maybe it'll be perfect. Some good old farm fresh eggs and I'm gonna mix some cheese in there. Forgot, well, I was just gonna say I forgot hot sauce, but I got Frank's. I don't think of it as hot sauce. It's more of a, uh, coating for my breading. That's going to get used as hot sauce. Oh yeah. Just going to scramble them up. Some fine looking eggs. Throwing some cheese on them. Feeling pretty liberal with the cheese today. It's gonna be a fine dinner. It's also a fine fire. Been kind of avoiding the cast iron just because you gotta keep them greased. And greased attracts dirt, and my stuff's dirty enough as it is, so I didn't wanna do that, but kind of digging how non stick they are. But I might have just became a cast iron guy. No nibbles. Got some big baits out. It's not big bait weather, but you know what? If a fish is going to wake me up when I'm sleeping, he might as well be big. Or at least be mean enough to try to take down a big bait. At least that's where my head's at. I think our eggs are pretty much finished. Hmm. Get the tongs lifted off of there. Let's see if we can do this without losing anything. That'll be the real trick. Mm -hmm. oh, that's hot. Mm -hmm. So close. Got her. Sweet. Dinner is served. 
simple and easy of things which I am a fan. Hot sauce. You need hot sauce. All right. Imagine this wind cooler down pretty quick. Very edible. By that I mean it's pretty good. Tough to beat eggs and cheese. Simple and good. Now we just wait on a bite. We got a nib. He ran off some line. Wow, he went ran a long ways down river. Oh, there's some actually some weight there. Uh, he's kind of shimmy and shaking. But he ain't a bad one. This sandbar ain't so bad. Oh yeah. He's actually pretty darn nice. Oh, he just splashed me. <laughs> what a jerk. <laughs> he ate a big old shad head. I can dig it. Come here, bud. He is ours. Well, I think. Yep. Okay. Okay. Come here, buddy. Get him on the floor so he doesn't flop around and beat himself up. I like this sandbar. I'll tell you that much. Okay, buddy. You know, I haven't caught a ton of fish on this trip, but they've all been pretty quality. I mean... Catching a pile of dudes like this is my definition of a good time. So, yeah. Welcome interruption to poking the campfire. Although, I mean, poking the campfire is a lot of fun, but catching these guys, I would say, is more fun. I'm going to let them go, so hopefully I can catch them again. Au revoir, friend. He had a messed up jaw. I wonder if he was on a diddy pull or something. Oh, he just went to the bank. Other direction. All right, I think he got it figured out there. All right, I'm gonna rebait that and get back to poking my campfire. Honestly, wasn't sure if I was even gonna catch anything. It just doesn't, I mean, we're pre-front, but it got windy and cold. I wasn't sure if we were, if it was gonna happen. But it happened. Might even happen again. All right, back to poking the campfire. One of these got hit. Took off screaming. I think it is this one. Well, maybe. Actually, no, it's this one. He was just swimming in that line, I think. There he is. He is tangled in all of them now. Um, kind of mess do we have going on? I was leaving it in the holder like I'm fighting a tuna or something. Um, uh. Yep, he tangled in every single line. <laughs> He's actually pretty nice. Oh yeah, we're going to be cutting a bunch of stuff. It was bad, now it's worse. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to try to grippy him. And... Uh, Instead of getting all this mess in the net. Yeah, he's really nice. Oh. 
just beating the crap out of everything. Okay. I somehow got him completely untangled. The lines are still tangled, but he's not caught up in them anymore. Uh, I knew he's pretty nice, but uh, I didn't realize he was going to be this nice. I'm surprised I don't have more tangles doing stuff like this, to tell you the truth. I get plenty, but, you know, I was asleep in my tent. It took me a minute to get out here. So I can't even be mad that he, he swam in all of them. Not even mad, bud. I'm just, just impressed. <laughs> Alright, let him go. Au revoir. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Fish in this river are just mean. Okay, time to start untangling slash cutting. Let's see what we can figure out. I have no idea how I was able to undo that tangle. Well, I kind of do. I started cutting things, but I only had to cut one rig. So chalking that up is a win. Let me get this. Ooh, that'll call them in. Let me get this retied back in the water I'm going back to sleep hopefully the next one's like a hundred that leaves my freaking mind duck duck goose uh, appears to be this one. Oh, well, you're not bad at all yeah, this is waking me up pretty good. Is that him coming up out there? I think so. Mm -hmm. He must just be all wrapped up and tangled and whatnot. Oh yeah, he's definitely in that. He's running all over the place now. What do you look like here, buddy? Well, he's just a nice one. He's fitting in. Okay, got him. He is officially grippied. Officially in the boat. Sounds like the machines across the river are waking up. Yeah, there ain't a darn thing wrong with him. He's nice. See it. Well, boat's packed up. I'm ready to roll. The sandbar's pretty darn good to us. It's too bad these fish that we've been catching here aren't going to help during the tournament because they only seem to come up here at night. But they sure were fun to catch in the meantime. And I have a feeling I might come back here someday. But I'm going to zip up river and meet Seth at the boat ramp and we're going to have a meeting of the mines and hopefully put together a pattern where, you know, we get our five and we have a good showing. I'm getting pretty excited for this tournament tomorrow. I found Seth. We're here. He's conveniently located in his boat, so he's easy to find. Uh, we're on a different stretch that I haven't been on. Not that I'm reserving it for when he gets here. It's more of a, just a timing thing. So we're gonna check out, we're gonna scan. Might do a little fishing, I don't know. We'll just see what the, you know, the world throws at us. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get moving. We're gonna catch 100. I'd rather catch him tomorrow. 
I don't care what 100 Yeah, I mean, I would be um, amazingly happy catching one today, but I'd just be a little bit happier catching them tomorrow. Tournaments, tournaments a funny, tournament fishing's a funny thing. We have been messing around, poking around, running up and down the river, looking for spots, checking spots, looking for fish. And we have a theory. I think they're carp. Seth thinks they're cats. I'm right, Seth's wrong. We're gonna, we're gonna fish around and find out, as they say. And by they, I mean me. I don't know anyone else who says dumb things like that. Mm. Where's the rope? Hey, Seth. Talon down. <laughs> right there. Bzzz. You don't even have to hit a button with this one. There's shad, and then there's shad. Well, if we don't catch them, it ain't the bait. Bait is not the issue. I'm not, uh, I'm not the best cat fisherman in the world, but I can catch big baits. You're the best shad fisherman in the world. I got a 12-out 12, 12 rigged. I should just throw them out like that. I'll throw a whole one tomorrow. I'm not scared. I mean... I've never been afraid of anything. Not, not even like heights or spiders? Maybe that's those are mine too. I actually heights don't. heights and spiders. Heights and spiders don't bother me at all. Uh, oh yeah, claustrophobic. I'm claustrophobic. Now you start saying all these things, I'm like, wow, I am scared of a lot of stuff. Commitment. <laughs> <laughs> Running out of bait. I'm terrified of that one. I am. Sinkers on. Need a hook. When I was a kid, it's embarrassing as this is. I shouldn't tell people. I was afraid of frogs as a child. What were you afraid they'd do? Um, this, when I was a small child. Like my... Oh, you want to hear something funny? Talk about small child fears? I was scared of fish. Really? Yeah, like there's a picture of my dad holding a bluegill that he brought home and me and the other arm just bawling my eyes out because I'm terrified of this fish. Awesome. And now... I'm like, maybe that's why I'm just so mad at him, you know? <laughs> just got to get back at him. Well, the carp did not bite. They were all cats. They just weren't biting. You've been waiting just to say that. <laughs> just like I've been waiting to say that. We're going to slide down and try another spot. Get out of the poop bowl. Turn on, camera. Oh, it's on. <laughs> Turn that music off. Yeah, he's running at me now. He's really fast. I mean, I don't know. He's pretty nice. I want to see him. I don't know, because I haven't felt a whole lot of weight yet. But he's, oh, big boil. Yeah. Oh, there you go. he's pretty nice. Uh, once I get him closer, or actually, you get right here, because there ain't current. Oh no! No way! On that big hook, he was fifty. He's over fifty. He's fifty to seventy. Tank. Save him for tournament day. <laughs> yeah, we were just uh, quick releasing. Do you see him race all the way over? I didn't think big fish ran like that. I mean, he was rolling and everything. His mouth was big. Ten inches wide. Yeah. That's a big fish. Fifties. Maybe seven inches wide. First fish I've lost this weekend on the big hook. I'm taking that off. Well, if we're gonna lose them, let's lose them today. Yeah, we don't want to do that tomorrow. Yeah. He probably won't bite again today. Hopefully he'll bite tomorrow. Well, not much has happened since uh, I, not we, I lost that fish. But I don't know. I think we have a good milk run of things put together and we're going to head back and put together our plan. Well, that's going to do it for this video. It's uh, 
Oh, it's been a fun trip down here so far, and hopefully we cap it off with a dub tomorrow. And if we don't, I guess, I don't know, I just want to win. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. We just about had a silver carp jump in the boat. Really appreciate you taking time to watch. Hope you catch a giant.